Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. What is holding you back in life? I'll tell you now, it's you. Um, I decided to do this video because I got a friend who's, uh, he's a close friend, but he's been a bit frustrating to me because I've tried to help him so many times, but um, he's very difficult to change. He's set in his ways, he got married, had problems in the relationship, and then he's had the doubt ever since. He's sort of had the life sucked out of him. But the person who stops you doing anything is yourself. The first thing I know people go is, if I travel, I won't have a job to come back to. I can't afford to travel. I have commitments where I am. I um, can't leave my job. Uh, what about my bills? etc. You know the long list of stuff people make up. Reality. You'll always survive. Doesn't matter what happens, you will survive. Financial, financial uh, money stuff, you'll find a way. Um, what happens when you start traveling is you become more creative because at the moment, you'll be in the clock on, clock off mentality. When you travel, you're looking for opportunities because it funds your traveling. So that whole, oh, I've, what about my job? Job doesn't matter. The job binds you. It's not giving you creative creativity. It's locking you into conformity. Uh, what about your bills? Reality is pay them off, get rid of them, stop spending, prepare to travel. Um, it's a bit like me with my property in Spain it's creating sweats around my head because it means I've actually had to lock into something that is bricks and mortar and makes a commitment for me. But I still need a base in Europe, so okay, I'll buy it. But the next thing is in the future, we'll rent it out if we're not there anyway. We don't bind ourselves to brick and, bricks and mortar. And we don't allow ourselves to be bound to bricks and mortar. Um, so bills, Get rid of them. Credit cards, cut them up, stop putting stuff on them, pay them off. Get rid of all your debt. Um, what else have we got? Doubt. Doubt is something with the what if. The what if hasn't happened yet. The what if normally happens to people that are stupid. Um, most of the what ifs in the Philippines, because I do talk about some of the bad things that happen to people, have been created by the people themselves. They don't listen to advice. They're not thinking out of the box. They're not thinking about other people. A uh, bit like that guy that likes going to bikini bars and then complained his wife is taking the house and as much money as she can get out of him. He created the mess that has happened. She didn't create it. Um, so the what ifs normally only happen because of the person not being smart enough to think for themselves. Um, there's always a way. You can bartend, you can do something wherever you are. You network until you drop into something. You find people that will help you along the way. People like myself work with other people. I only moved to um, Spain in November. I've networked with several guys with Filipino partners. I've networked with a friend from Thailand uh, and her husband. I've networked with guys from Ukraine, uh, Poland, Dominican Republic, etc., etc. And that's all happened since November. Um, the importance of this is you network. You work as a group. You form up a community that helps each other. They're all in a similar situation. Um, most people I work with these days are not normal people. They're not interested in a nine to five job. They're interested in doing what we're talking about. They're interested in doing what you want to do. The same reason you're watching my channel. Because at the end of the day, we're all there to help each other. And because you form part of that community, people are more likely to help with you. Um, because they know what it's like. Recently, there was a conversation relating to somebody that would have given up the UK life because if he couldn't get his wife 
um, to the UK, he was going to the Philippines and would do whatever it takes to stay there. Now, that commitment is because of his wife and child. That commitment is commitment to family. Um, I know several people that are locked into the UK um, and trying to get their partners to the UK. They're working hard in the UK and trying to fund going through the immigration process, etc. But they are also caught in the what if because they won't get out of work and just make it happen via the Schengen route or whatever. They're the what ifs. Myself, I'm not a what if. I'm a doer. I'm still locked into the UK though, but I moved my family to Spain first. I go home as well. Um, but I'm not thinking about the three month becoming a family permit and moving to the UK because I don't want to move to the UK. My thoughts are stay in Spain, buy a house in Spain, settle in Spain. So mine's a 10 year plan, which is also tied into me finishing work and consulting and moving back to the UK, uh, moving to Spain full time. So it's very different, but at the same time, I'm still working. Um, but I'm, like I said, I'm not thinking three years. I'm looking at 10 years, uh, three months. I'm looking at 10 years. Very uh, different because I have to build a base and build everything up. It's not a case of just sitting in there, get a family permit and come back to the UK and drop back into my old life. So be aware, the person that's going to hold you back is yourself. You can make everything happen or you can make nothing happen. Stop talking yourself out of it and start talking yourself into how you're going to do it. Because uh, if you don't, you don't do it now, you're never going to do it. I'll tell you that now. Because you will look back in 10 years time and say, oh yeah, I remember Matt said that on that video and I wish I'd done something then about it because now X has happened or now I'm doing it. I've still got another five years. So do it now. Stop planning. Get ahead.